Good morning, hot dogs. We hope everybody had an amazing and wonderful three-day weekend. Sports, crash, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you're interested in applying for CRASH, sign up while you can. The deadline is September 14th. CRASH Club was founded in 2012 to raise awareness around issues that affect the Latino community. Support students pursuing higher education, bridge the gap of communication and understanding between the English-speaking and Spanish-speaking communities. Provide community service and collaborate with many, with many community partners to enrich the experience of youth and our school cooperation. If you have any questions, feel free to email Ms. Johnson. Also, Coach Kids will be available hourly and monthly throughout the school months. They will be providing resources and helping to those in need with school and get you set up in the right pathway to success. For all grades 9th through 12th, now to weather and sports. Good morning, Hosduck. This morning it was 65 degrees, but it felt a little quarter because of the winds. Today's high will be 84 degrees, but with the winds reaching 20 miles per hour, it felt a little quarter, so make sure you bundle up. The, later tonight, the low will be 58 degrees, and it will also rain around 9 p.m. to midnight. So make sure you cover yourself up if you're going out late at night. That's it for the weather. Now to sports with Elijah. Thanks, David. But the boys and girls team had great conditions for racing that resulted in PRs for everyone. The boys team are best performance in years, placing ninth out of 25 teams in a pretty stacked field. The boys crushed last year's Sagmore Conference runner-up Crawfordsville by 46 points and beat last year's semi-state qualifiers Rossville and McCutcheon while officially one spot behind Harrison. The team was led by podium finishers Angel Perez in 32nd, with the 17.10 and Josue Bautista in 25th with a 16.57 out of 180 runners. The boys team now has to defeat all Sagmore Conference team except one narrow loss to Lebanon on Tuesday while racing and training shoes. The girls team finished 24th out of 27 teams and were led by our lone podium finisher Karina Alanis in 16th place out of 190 runners. Karina beat her own school record by four seconds with a new record time of 19 minutes and 43 seconds. Great job, Karina. Our top boy in the JV race was Leo Roa in 99th out of 194th with a 20 minute and 30 second, 38 seconds. The girls soccer team and football team will travel Southmont this week. Southmont does not accept cash at their athletic events. So you may use the following links in the chatter. Also, you may use a credit or debit card to purchase tickets at the gate of the events. The football team was unable to overcome some early mental mistakes and fell behind quickly to a very talented Tri-West team who was ranked 5th. The number 5 ranked Bruins team turned a nearly huge loss into a big game on the first play of the game and never looked back. Even though our team fell short of the goal, the coaching staff is incredibly proud of the way they played. The dogs played with a lot of heart and played each other the entire game. That passion and poise resulted in two touchdowns late in the game as well as some big defensive plays. The kicking game has shown tremendous improvement this year over the past few seasons. The kickoff and punt team had stellar kicks with great coverage and the kick return team has some great runs. Friday, the football team travels to Southmont to take on the undefeated Mounties at 7 p.m. where you can't pay cash. The JV will play at home on Monday, September 13th against Southmont's JV. That's it for sports. Now back to your hosts. Unfortunately, we don't know what for lunch. So that'll be all for today's announcements. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe for more. We hope you have a great rest of your day.